the language English is the most spoken language in the world today. And if we need to reach out to each other and communicate with each other, it's always good to learn a language which is spoken and understood well by a lot of people. Um, you do have a good register in your voice. So that is where you have a good voice and you're able to you know, bring that out very nicely. You have the clarity with which you express yourself. So good morning, Ravish. My name is Deepa. And uh, this is our first session together. So if you could give me a small introduction about yourself. Sure. Uh, uh, first of all, very good morning to you as well. My name is Kumar Ravish, and uh, uh, I'm a working professional. I have been on uh, clapping go to brush up my conversational skills. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's here I am. Okay, fantastic. So uh, where do you work, Ravish? Can you give me a little idea about your professional life and why is it that you would like to improve your conversational skills? Uh, I work for an IT staffing company that's a US-based organization. And uh, I wanted to improve my conversation just to, uh, you know, because that, that's important for everyone, uh, be it your uh, work or, uh, you know, uh, normal life, uh, you must have... Uh, you must work on to work on yourself in, in order to improve your communication and everything. So nothing specific. Uh, it's just that you know to to. It, I just want to brush up my conversational skills. That's that, that is it. I think. Okay, fantastic. So I can see that this is your twenty fifth uh, session, um, and this has been a good journey for you. Uh, ma'am, little correction. I think it'll be it. It must not be just twenty fifth. It would be almost like eightieth, I suppose. So yeah, I have uh, spent uh, quite a quite a bit of time on clapping go. I have interacted with a lot of speakers. So yeah, I think it's it's yes, more than that. Uh, uh, yes, sorry, my bad. I missed it with another timing. You're right. This is your eightieth. So fantastic. How was your journey so far? That's been awesome. Uh, uh, I am learning every day, uh, uh, you know, small, small corrections. If I make mistakes during the conversation, I'm being corrected. And I'm learning a little bit, uh, you know, I would say. So I have improved a bit and I'm still working on it. Okay, good. So I can see from uh, your conversation that you do have an accent, um, you know, when you speak English. Um, you know, uh, and is that something that's part of your job that you need to have that? It is indeed. Yes. Oh, you've picked up along it's the part way. Part of the job. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a while, and then I've been working, interacting with uh, foreign people, so maybe that has got imbibed from there. Okay, fantastic. Because um, you know, when you have an accent, it affects your pronunciation as well. So uh, that's the reason why I wanted to check with that. Right. Um, so do I call you Kumar or Ravish? You can call me Kumar. I Kumar. mean, either okay. ways, I'm fine. You can call me Kumar or Ravish. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so uh, have you had a look at the session doc, Kumar, today? For today? I did take a look at it, but uh, okay. not uh, gone into a detail of it. But yes, I looked at it uh, superficially. Okay, fantastic. So uh, is it possible for you to have it open simultaneously while you're talking to me? Is that possible? So it must be working yeah, from please, home please. for you, Kumar? Or do you have to go to work? Uh, I have a hybrid model. Uh, so uh, for a week I work from home and for another week I go to office. So that's okay. how, how it is. Where are you based, Kumar? I'm sorry, say that again. Where are you based out of? Where do you live? Okay, I'm in Noida. I'm located in Noida. Where are you, ma'am? Oh, okay. I live in Mumbai. You live in Mumbai. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Noida's a good place. Uh, I've, I've lived in Delhi for many years, and I think uh, Noida's a good place to live. It depends on which area in Noida, but that's a nice place. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, so today, uh, right. what we can do is just, um, you know, um, look at two phrases. So maybe open the session doc a little later when I ask you to. So let's look at a few phrases. And I uh -huh. think today we're talking about money and currency. And, uh, you know, before we start, right. I just 
I want to know what are your thoughts about money and uh, how do you look at money? Money is something which is really not easy to earn and uh, it, it takes a lot of efforts and courage, right? And uh, I think uh, this, is, this, is, this has been a problem or I would say uh, an issue for most of the people uh, because everybody wants to earn money for sure, but uh, that isn't easy to, to earn. Uh, you have to work day in and day out in order to uh, to earn more money and uh, i think uh, certainly uh, that's that's probably the ultimate goal of everyone in today's life i believe and apart from so many other things money plays an important role in everyone's life uh, but as i like i said uh, everybody wants to to earn a lot of money wanted to be a millionaire or billionaire but that's not possible probably very few of people you know, end up money, you know, making money. So this is what I think about money. What is your take on this, ma'am? I'd like to hear from you. So uh, in my opinion, I think uh, money to me is related to wealth. It is related to abundance. Uh, money is a means of exchange for me. And for me, more important is uh, being wealthy and having abundance. So tell me, the topic today is money and currency, right? Mm -hmm. So there are one or two phrases that come out with these two. One is uh, money doesn't grow on trees. Um, do, what oh, do you yeah. understand by that? Yes, uh, I think uh, the term is very much, very much self-explanatory. Like uh, it, it's hard to earn money, right? It's not easy to, to it's not actually, it, it does not grow on, on trees. Uh, you know, you have to put in a lot of efforts in order to make it, right? So say, for example, uh, I think uh, a lot of times when you wanted to buy something when you're a child, right? And you wanted to buy something from your parents uh, unnecessarily, you know, they'll, they'll say that, no, no, it's, it's not possible, right? So money is not grown on, uh, on trees. So you have to put a lot of hard work on it. So not this time, maybe, maybe another time. So yeah, this is what I understand from this phrase. Am I, yes. is, is this, uh, yes, is yes, this absolutely. Yes, yes, yeah. So these are a few phrases that you can uh, use in your conversation, which are connected to this particular topic, right? So when you're talking about something, you say, hey, you know right. what, money doesn't grow on trees, you know, you can bring that in, uh, you know, as one of the phrases that you can speak on. The other one is on the house. What do you understand by the phrase on the house? On the houses, I think uh, that's free of cost. That's easy and free of cost. How would you use it, for example, in a sentence? Okay, you can probably say, for example, if you wanted to give something, give away something, which does not cost you anything. So for example, uh, you can probably call a beggar sometimes if you are running a restaurant, right? You can probably give away uh, some food and say that uh, that phrase. Uh, so that should be okay. I mean, like uh, the food is on the house, so you can take it away. So I believe. Yeah. So very similar. So if you're going out with friends and you know uh, you have a friend who say maybe owns um, you know a restaurant or you know him, it's his birthday that day, so you know he can. Maybe come on your group and say, you know, hey guys, it's my birthday today. So, uh, you know, your uh, snacks, your your appetizers are on the house or your, you know, the lunch is on the house or whatever, you know. So it's someone else picking up the tab. Right? If something's great. on the house. Great. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So great. So uh, when we're talking about money and currency, what, what rings the bell when you talk about currency? I mean... You know, of late, of course, uh, everything is uh, digitized and, you know, uh, like it's, it's become like a work model, right? Hybrid. So you have digitized and you have cash uh, going together, right? What are your views on that? I'd like to hear you. Oh, absolutely. Because uh, gone, are the do gone are those days when we were actually uh, exchanging money just in form of cash. 
and we didn't have other source of uh, or different forms of currency i would say uh, now we've got a number of currencies like you you can probably uh, if i talk about the commercial money right we've got different uh, options altogether like we have for credit cards debit card debit cards right and then we have got upi as well which is called unified uh, 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 payment interface right where you have a number of companies they have they've uh, jumped into like you, google pay and say paytm and most of the other other one as well right we've got internet banking as well so there are so many things right that's going on and i believe uh, recently i heard a news that uh, government is uh, considering something but you don't have to carry your cash or cards as well for that matter and you can even make make payments as well that will be possible in the future so um, yeah so that's different forms of i think currency and types if i go into detail like different countries uh, have different currencies altogether like say for example dollars and then uh, pounds right and dirham dinar and all of that so uh, yeah and earlier i remember you know if you if you deep dive into the history you probably you'll find uh, some sort of uh, money exchange systems where you don't you didn't, when you didn't have money you you were going with the exchange of uh, fake commodities right you 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 pay something you'll get something but you wouldn't that wouldn't be uh, exchanged through money so yeah this is what i understand i believe uh, if you can probably if you have something to say on this no i think uh, i think i completely agree with you that kind of system was called the barter system and um, you know it's very interesting uh, how we have progressed over the centuries into where we are today and uh, to me money um, you know kumar is a notional value um, if you are if you are, we believe as uh, as a society that a certain piece of paper holds a certain value and so if tomorrow right. we all believe that it does not hold value that piece of paper would just be that so i think uh, it has a lot to do with the notional value of a certain item uh, of course uh, when you talk about metals and you're talking about barter systems where things were exchanged there the value was tangible yeah right today currencies yeah, have I a notional agree. value yeah. right absolutely absolutely right. Fantastic. Yeah. So, um, do you have any questions on, uh, you know, anything that's come in your mind, maybe from your previous session, or maybe how we've done today? Would you like to ask anything? I just uh, we have another four minutes, and I just wanted to also give my feedback. But before that, I wanted to know from you if there's anything that you need to know. Oh, okay. So. Um... so if you can tell me a little bit about more about yourself because you've been you've been a, you've been a trainer or you have your corporate job so you just you work on helping yourself what is that about yes so i've had a corporate career and uh, post that um, during my corporate career i realized that training was my forte and it was part of my job and i picked that up and i have now started my own firm um and i do consulting training and uh, strategy for different training solutions awesome okay. yeah and then the fact that um i feel uh, you know communicating and expressing yourself is part of any uh, you know human interaction and that's one of the reasons why i joined clapping go because i feel um the language english is the most spoken language in the world today and if we need to reach out to each other and communicate with each other it's always good to learn a language which is spoken and understood well by a lot of people okay fabulous yes i i totally agree with you so uh yeah and everybody is striving uh, uh, uh you know in order to uh, be a better communication communicator i'm sorry and uh, uh Uh, but still you know if i talk about the corporates even there are a lot of people who struggle um, despite of the fact that they are working in a corporate environment but uh, being an indian i think there it is it has been a problem uh, for most of the indians still uh, you know exists um uh, i'm talking about the big chunk of people who are who work uh, you know with corporates but uh, there are so many other people who are not working with corporates right even they also struggle a lot 
uh, you know, with, with this language. So perfect. Uh, I totally agree with with what you said. Uh, if and, you and can actually, probably share something, maybe feedback. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please go ahead. So, uh, please go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yes, feedback's important. So, Kumar, um, I, uh, you know, I commend you uh, to take this kind of effort. Uh, you know, 80th session, that's really great. I, I really, uh, you know, appreciate the fact that you do take it, uh, you know, as an important part wherein you need to communicate. Um, you do have a good register in your voice. So that is where you have a good voice and you're able to, you know, bring that out very nicely. You have the clarity with which you express yourself. Right. Uh, where I do would like you to look at a few is uh, pronunciations, maybe, for example, uh, billionaire. Right. So that was one word that I could get from uh, your conversation um, and a few, you know, words wherein, of course, the fact that we are Indians and we're looking at another accent. So there is.